Hey guys, it's Scott Harris here, your millionaire mentor, coach, and friend. And I just wanted to give an answer to a couple of awesome, spectacular questions that came off the back of our MBA for Life live coaching call this week. Uh, the questions came in from Azan. So, hey, buddy, thanks for asking. Great question. And the question's kind of in two parts. Number one, he wanted to ask about, you know, what's the best way to turn um, your goals, the big results you're working on, how do you turn them into daily actionable items in terms of your daily scheduling? And of course, if you know anything about the work that I do, I am all about planning and scheduling and making maps. And then secondly, we shared some content that came from a friend of mine about different levels of consciousness in relationship to things being happening to me as opposed to by me, as opposed to through me, as opposed to as me. And Azan asked about, well, how do we actually take that understanding of consciousness and have that impact the way that we set our goals and then go ahead and set our daily tasks? So I want to answer that question, that two-part question. So here we go. The first question really just comes down to taking those big chunks you're working on and really just working backwards from them. You know, the problem with most goal setting is that most people work forwards instead of working backwards. I'll give you an example of what I mean. If your goal is to lose 10 kilograms or your goal is to run a marathon or your goal is to make a million dollars, you need to work out what needs to happen to make those things happen and then chunk it down backwards. So if I want to lose 10 kilograms, I know that about 500 to 750 grams a week is a realistic target. So I want to work backwards from that. I know that if I want to run a marathon, well, I first need to be able to run a half marathon. And before that, I need to be able to run a 10 kilometer race. And before that, I need to be able to you need to be able to run a five kilometer race. And for some of you, you need to be able to just jog for three kilometers. So I want to work backwards and then just focus on the small chunk that I'm working on right now. If you want to make a million dollars, it's pretty simple. Ask yourself, great, what's my vehicle of choice for that right now? Is it selling some products? Is it adding some value? Is it doing some trading or some property deals? Work out what your equation is. By equation, I mean how many things do you have to do at what profit points do you have to have to be able to create the money that you want to be able to have? And then work out what the time frame is that those things happen in and then work it backwards. So if you want to make a million dollars and you're selling things or you're doing that sort of process, great. Do I need to make 10 sales a week, 5 sales a week, 3 sales a week? And what are the daily actions that are appropriate for that? So always work your goals backwards. Now, that said, sometimes people say, well, I don't know what my daily actions need to be to make that particular goal happen. Or I'll sometimes have people say, well, I set all these goalie, uh, excuse me, I set all these daily actions up and they didn't work. Like, what's up with that? Well, here's the thing about planning, my friends. Planning does not guarantee you're going to get what you want. Planning only guarantees that you'll be moving forward in the right direction. You know, there's that old, silly, dorky phrase that says, if you know, if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Well, that's really true for me. But planning doesn't guarantee that what you want to have happen is going to happen. And so this, and this is where answering the second question comes into the, my, my, my talk here, is that when we have a level of consciousness that says, you know what, my life isn't happening to me. And sometimes my life is going to happen by me, through my energy and my creation and my force and my will. Sometimes my life is going to happen through me, by me just acting really consciously and congruently and being opening up to what's possibly happening in the universe and what's flowing in the right direction. And sometimes my life is going to happen magically just as me. And so I don't know, this is particularly for Zahn, if I would necessarily be changing my goals or changing my daily actions based on the levels of consciousness to me, by me, through me, as me. But I think that when certain things, when certain things happen or when they don't happen, that understanding and that self-awareness of those different levels of consciousness will help me understand what's going on. And I'll give you a perfect example, if, if I may. Just recently, my wife and I have been working literally almost full-time trying to get my father-in-law, who's desperately ill with colon cancer, excuse me, with prostate cancer, working almost full-time, trying to find some alternative therapies, trying to get him into different clinics all around the world. And we really got fixated on sending him to this particular clinic in Perth. And we found out what all the requirements were and what all the medical needs were and what reports needed to be done and what tests had to be done and what scores he had to get on certain tests to be able to qualify to go to this very, very exclusive and and, and special and unique retreat. And we worked really hard and her father-in-law, excuse me, her father, my my father-in-law worked really hard at making all this happen. And we literally got to the 11th hour. I mean, I'm talking like flights were booked, everybody's going and it's like 11 o'clock the night before we're due to fly. 
We got a phone call saying, you know what, he, his numbers haven't come in. Some of the tests aren't where they need to be. He's too ill to come to this resort, this uh, retreat. It's not going to happen. Of course, we were crushed. It's like, gosh, you know, we'd so been focused on the result that we wanted and the daily actions and getting to the doctors and getting the reports. And so we had, you know, about a six or a 12-hour window of just, you know, collecting our thoughts and looking at our wounds and asking ourselves, what's the gift in this? And bam, we just jumped straight back into it. We got straight back on the internet and straight back onto the phones and straight back onto our networks and found another place. And lo and behold, within 36 hours, we'd found another clinic, this time in a little tiny town called Amarillo in Texas. And if you live on the Gold Coast, Amarillo, Texas is a long way away. And sure enough, we really feel like and believe this is the place it needs to be. And so 36 hours after that, boom, Wolfgang's already there and already at the clinic getting treatment. So for us in that situation, it's just... Knowing that sometimes things are happening by me and sometimes they're happening through me and sometimes they're just happening. You know, there was a situation where I knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy who recommended to me this doctor and we organized a Skype meeting at some ungodly hour in the morning and we jump on Skype. And the minute I jumped on Skype with this guy, we looked at each other's faces and we're like, dude, we know each other. We met five years ago at my friend's house in California. We spent a couple hours talking at the, at, the, at the kitchen bar there, having some breakfast about health, nutrition, or whatever, and he was a really cool cat. Lo and behold, and I met a lot of people, here we are five years later, and this is the guy that's been recommended to me by a friend of a friend of a friend who is in all likelihood probably going to save my father-in-law's life. That, for me, is an example of things happening as me. didn't happen by me. I didn't create that. didn't even happen through me. God just turned that person up. So um, that's kind of a roundabout kind of answer to the second part of your question. The second part, that, that those levels of consciousness is really just about you having an awareness that not everything's going to work out the way you want it to work out. Not everything's going to happen the way that you say it should happen, even despite your best intentions. So you just want to focus on you know being driven by your core values, uh, really have great planning and great systems set up, have great coaching and great mentoring so that you know you're getting feedback on your planning because no point planning things if you're planning the wrong things. So I want coaching and mentoring on that. And then when things don't work or things don't go as according to plan, you want to step back and go, okay, this isn't happening to me, and I thought this might be happening by me, but maybe this is happening as me or through me. So I hope that's a, uh, adds some value to you. Uh, you know how to find me. Come find me on this Facebook page. Come find me on our email, and we'll add some more value to you. For those of you who haven't been on our MBA calls and you're listening to this recording anyway, you should get on our MBA calls. They're awesome. They happen twice a month. They're fantastic. They're affordable, and people love them. And you can find out more information on those calls on our website at www.scottharris.com.au. But for now, everybody have a great day. Live deliberately. Bye for now.